What's up YouTube? It's me, your boy. Back at again with another video, and today I'm bringing you another restaurant safety review. And today I'm reviewing Ginza All You Could Eat Sushi, located in Torrance. So my partner and I were really craving sushi, and this is the only place we found that is still doing all you could eat. I've noticed that here in LA, a lot of sushi places that used to do all you could eat sushi have since kind of stopped it for the time being due to Corona but not Ginza. Ginza is sticking to their guns and they are still bringing you unlimited sushi as much as you could eat. So that's a huge draw to this place. And on that note, before I get into the review, I wanna give you all a major tip. The wait times for this place are astronomical. Like I said, this is one of the few places in LA still doing all you could eat and the wait times show for that. I was talking to the front of the house and he said, yeah, on weekends, the wait times could get like up to two hours, easy. So the major tip that I have for you is download the Yelp app because in the Yelp app, if you go to the restaurants page, which I'll link down below, you could reserve your place on the Yelp waitlist. So that way you don't have to wait two hours at the restaurant itself. You can just put your name down in the list, you know, get ready, do whatever, and then leave with 30 minutes to spare. And that way you can get there basically as your table is ready. So that's the major tip I have for you. But now let's get into the review. Upon checking in, we waited about 15 minutes outside before being brought to our table, which I was pretty happy to see that the tables were six feet apart. But something that was nice was while I was walking to my table, I saw something that I've never seen another restaurant do before, and that's that they have a UV light that kind of sanitizes uh, all their menus, which is a really nice touch. Staff cleanliness was pretty good. Um, everyone had masks on and all but one of the staff had gloves on. So only one person didn't have gloves and that was the person that led us to our table. But overall, you know, pretty good. Next, let's talk about the food. But before I do, please consider giving this video a like if you haven't done so already. And please consider subscribing. It really helps out the channel and I'd greatly appreciate it. So like I said earlier, this place is one of the few in LA still doing all you could eat. And that's a huge draw to this place. They have a ton of different options. They have your traditional nigiri, which I enjoyed actually. I think the rice was definitely lacking, but the fish quality was fresh. It was good. Uh, I recommend the scallop, yellowtail, and salmon belly. Those were my favorite. Like I said, pretty decent, but I'm spoiled though. Like I like making nigiri at home. And I actually have a video showing you how you could do that as well, as well as where to get sushi grade fish in Los Angeles. That can be found up here, and I'll also link it down in the description below. Something that surprised me was that their side dishes are actually pretty good. Uh, the tempura that they had there was really awesome, and uh, I had these things called the jalapeno bomb. Definitely not traditional sushi at all, but hey, you know what? All you could eat, I wanted the different options, and it was pretty good. I would recommend you try that. When I said that they have tons of options, I'm not kidding. Like, they have an entire side of their menu dedicated to just rolls. Like we're talking about your classic rolls. We're talking about your hand rolls. We have deep fried rolls, baked rolls, and even rolls that don't have any rice. Like they have something pretty creative called the Pink Lady. And uh, I'd really recommend you give it a shot. But overall, I wasn't actually that impressed with the rolls, surprisingly. I don't know if it was just off for that night, but both my partner and I just didn't really like their crab meat mixture. I don't know, it just had a kind of a weird aftertaste. But like I said, that might have been just the night that we went and it might be completely different every other night. But uh, I stuck to the nigiri for the most part. I will say this though, my partner and I did not like the oysters. Like if I could recommend one thing you do not have, it's the oysters. They just were kind of off tasting, like flavorless. They didn't make us sick, but it just wasn't good. Please avoid the oysters. Overall, I would say the food is decent. Like I said, I'm spoiled when it comes to nigiri, but that's just because I like making it myself at home. However, I still thought it was good. And if you are a fan of nigiri, if you're a fan of rolls or side dishes, they have a ton of options. I'd still recommend you come check this place out because like I said, it's all you could eat. So you're gonna have a good time. But now let's get to the rating. So if I were to rate this place on the sanitation precautions they took, this place gets a four out of five. Overall, it was good. Um, they cleaned the tables and chairs in between each uses. And while there was no like table liner, they did have single use paper menus and the menus that weren't single use were sanitized by a UV light that kills the bacteria. So, you know, four out of five. 
Staff hygiene also gets a four out of five. Like I said, everyone had masks on and everyone except one person had gloves on. So overall it was pretty good. And while I can't speak to how they pour drinks like beers, uh, they did pour the water for us. So again, four out of five. Table distancing. This place again gets a four out of five. Like I said earlier, the tables are six feet apart and in some cases a little bit over six feet apart, but it gets a four out of five because it's still in an enclosed space, albeit open air. It's just a little crowded, still safe, but you know, not perfect. So four out of five. Clientele behavior gets a four out of five. Not that much to complain about here. Um, you know, everyone was pretty respectful. No one was being obnoxious. No one was invading other people's personal space. Uh, the only thing I can nitpick on is that the people around us just didn't keep their masks on when they were talking to the waiter. Uh, again, nitpicking. And there was one other customer there that he kept coughing during the entire meal. I don't know if he ate something spicy or I don't know, but uh, that kind of freaked us out a little bit, but he was far enough to where, you know, it didn't really feel like we were risking our safety. So four out of five. So for final scores, if I were to judge the restaurant by itself, it gets a 12 out of 15. So a B minus 80%. It's not bad. But if we're talking about the overall experience where we bring in that clientele behavior, then this place gets a 16 out of 20. So still an 80%, still a B minus. Not bad, but it could use improvement. Like I said, if maybe the, all the staff had gloves on and they had you know, a temperature check, the score would definitely be you know, boosted up a little bit. But overall, my partner and I felt pretty safe eating here at Ginza All You Could Eat Sushi in Torrance. If you've really been craving that all you could eat sushi experience, this is the place to go because like I said, there's really not that many all you could eat spots in LA right now. And if you do plan on coming, make sure to put your name down in the Yelp wait list because like I said, it can get over two hours long on the weekends for the wait time. So just put your name down ahead, you know, come down when you have like 30 minutes left and have yourself a good time. But anyways, y'all, thank you again for watching one of my videos. I really appreciate it. And like I said, please consider giving this video a like or subscribing if you haven't done so already. It really helps out the channel. But yeah, I really hope you enjoy this video. Thank you so, so much again for watching. My name is David and I'll see you in the next one.